Hey guys, welcome to today's video. I went to 7-Eleven and I bought makeup, a bunch of it, $166 on makeup and a few snacks. So I have just about everything that just launched at 7-Eleven as far as their new makeup line. Right when you go in, you see a large display and it is called Simply Me or Simply Me Beauty. And they have everything from BB creams to mascara to liner to nail polish, removing wipes, which I probably should have picked up. Everything is like $3.99, $3.49, $4.99, $2.99. And yet still I managed to spend $166. Okay, so we have a lot a lot. We have a lot to go through. I'm super curious. I know you guys are curious. We're going to try it on. We're going to see if it has pigment fallout, if anything is so fabulous that when you are in 7-Eleven next for a Slurpee or whatever you buy at 7-Eleven, you're like, oh, Tati said that there was a eyeshadow that is just fabulous for $3.99. I should check it out. I'm afraid to drink this right now. I just watched a really disturbing video on Slurpees. I don't even want to drink that. <sighs> White gummy bears, a horrible flavor choice. Let's try the cotton candy. Blue raspberry is my favorite Slurpee, so maybe this is really good. Not bad. I'm gonna have a blue tongue for this whole video, cool. I have their brushes. I even have eyelashes. I have what looks like a beauty blender dupe. I have some blotting papers. I have matte and shimmer bronzer. I have highlighter, brow products. Um, I usually like a pencil, but we're just gonna see how this goes. Eyeshadows. I have the Simply Me Cream Lip Gloss. This actually looks really pretty, Rose. Hmm, that smells delightful. I just hit my nose with it. <laughs> I picked up their lip crayons. We have a bunch of different shades. Not really a good neutral shade in here, but we'll just kind of swatch, try, test, see how it all goes down. I have two different blushes. I have rose and I have coral, and they are split pans, so you have two different shades to play with. I have three of the lip sticks. So they have a lipstick, a lip crayon, and a gloss. And I have wine, clementine, rouge. Let's open this one up too. Why is this so random that 7-Eleven has makeup? Like, um, since when? Does everybody have makeup? Oh my God, the next makeup collab is gonna be McDonald's. Damn, that's delicious. You're ruining my life. Mm. I wish there was a cotton candy emoji. I think that would be really appropriate for this video. Wait, did I even explain to you guys why I'm creeped out by 7-Eleven Slurpees? I recently watched a video from Lease Bug and it kind of ruined me, it ruined me. Don't watch her videos if you don't wanna be grossed out and have things ruined for you. So thanks a lot. I don't like Slurpees anymore, but I don't think I ever really did. This flavor is disgusting. Her video uncovered that a lot of the Slurpee machines, now this is rumor, this is not every single 7-Eleven chain, but a lot of the machines don't get cleaned properly or often enough, and because of that, mold grows in the machine, which can end up in your drink, which is disgusting. I don't want mold in my drink. It's really depressing. Back to the makeup. Wow. Actually, that could kind of go with like this whole, like I'm wearing like a cute little white tank, my little blazer, like, ch -ch -ch, you know? Doesn't smell like anything. Oh, hey. I was not expecting that much pigmentation, 7-Eleven. I did also get some concealers that I'll probably not like just because I'm picky AF. I like the Catrice one and Shape Tape and anything else that does not come up to the standards of those two. I just don't like, but you know what? I'm here to try it all. We also have the liquid felt tip eyeliner. And for our grand finale, which is actually more like what we're gonna put on our face first, is the Simply Me Beauty BB Cream. So this is a multi-action sun care and skin tint, broad spectrum of only SPF 15. I wish there was more in here for being a BB cream. Like I just kind of feel like if you're doing like a one-step beauty balm type of a thing, you want more, but SPF 15, that's what they got in here. What, why does it have methoxycinnamate? Like cinnamon, cinnamate? What's cinnamate? Aqua glycerin talc, methoxycinnamate, pheno, seno something, fragrance, and titanium dioxide. I don't, I don't know about this. It says that it's an all-in-one that will help hydrate, 
correct and protect while providing deep, buildable coverage. What is deep, buildable coverage? I've never seen that on like a foundation bottle. It's oil-free, it's gonna reduce the look of pores, it's great as a base. Um, to extend the look and wear time of foundation. Okay, so you could wear this underneath your foundation. I don't know if I need that extra step, just saying. So we're gonna use this as the foundation today. Now that I have absolutely everything right in front of me, let's scoot the camera forward and we will just start playing with all of this new affordable makeup from 7-Eleven. Wait, oh my God, no, you guys, this is not right. This is like, I really, wish that you could feel like, ow, it's not soft at all. This is the firmest. Clearly we don't like that sponge. We're gonna move on to figuring out which BB cream is gonna be suitable for my skin tone. Crazy, okay, so there's like nothing on the back, like no directions at all. That's kind of strange. Usually there's something on the bottle, but it's just on the box. Okay, so this is deep. I wanna swatch all of them for you guys, obviously, that's why I bought them. So here are all three shades. So you can kind of see against my skin. Uh, deep is in the center, medium is down here, and light is up at the top. Clearly, I'm gonna be light. This is not even that light. It's pretty dark. Here, I'll just show you swatches on my skin. This is the deep, and there's medium. Medium and deep are actually pretty close. I feel like they just have a little bit of a different undertone. It's gonna be hard for someone that has very fair skin. You're gonna have a tough time with that. That's my prediction. Just because this is coming off a little bit dark. I'm sure it's gonna oxidize some. And we'll just see what happens. I am going to have the product on the brush and we're just going to paint the face and apply the BB cream. It smells like something from my childhood and I don't know what. It almost has like a glue scent to it. What is that? Okay, so this brush is a joke, a J-O-K-E joke. Let's just get rid of this. Um, I'm gonna dampen one of my beauty blenders just cause I wanna see if pressing what I normally would reach for, you know, like pressing into the skin, if it gives me a little more coverage. I'm just curious because this is not horrible. It's not great. It has such a weird scent to it that it's kind of freaking me out, like what chemicals are in here. Um, and something feels a little bit tingly on my skin, which is not a good sign, but we're gonna just continue. So hold on. So it says that you can build up the coverage. So I'm gonna try and do that and see what happens. This works so much better with a beauty blender. And I actually am surprised that I don't hate this product. I'm gonna have to see how my skin feels. The tingly sensation is the only thing kind of freaking me out right now. But looking at my skin, it looks hydrated. It looks a little more even. It's definitely not even a medium coverage. I mean, I'm seeing a lot of my pigmentation poke through right here. It feels a little bit tacky to the touch. I feel the better spend for $5 on foundation would be the Photo Focus from Wet n Wild. That one is so good. Next, we have the concealers. They are $3.99 a piece. I have all three shades, so let's take a peek at the swatches. Ooh, oh my God, that can't be good. Oh, oh F, that smells like Satan. That does not smell right. That smells like straight up just chemical plastic chemicals. Oh my God. So we have light, medium, deep. I don't think this is gonna be light enough for me. Wow. Yeah, so the light shade is pretty dark, guys. I think I'm gonna go ahead and just give you guys recommendations along the way of other alternatives. You know, the dollar concealer from Shop Miss A was not half bad. I actually really, really liked it. So that's a better alternative, less expensive. Of course, Maybelline Age Rewind is awesome. Maybelline Fit Me has a great concealer um, with tons of different shades. This is just not giving me enough coverage, A, but B, that color was so just mustardy and kind of just a, an interesting shade. So those are your three there. Let's move on and set the face with a little bit of translucent setting powder. You get a sponge in here. I don't normally like using sponges for powder. I just feel like that puts too much product on the face. So I'm gonna go ahead and take their, oh, we don't have a powder brush. All right, scratch that. I'm gonna go ahead and take one of my powder brushes 
and just dust this all over the face. That's not bad. Um, another alternative for a pressed powder that I think is really great is Rimmel Stay Matte. And then for loose, obviously, Cody Airspun is like one of my everyday favorites that I reach for all the time. This compact, by the way, that is translucent and matte, this is $3.99. The blushes, you get two pans of color in here and they are $3.99. I think I wanna take the more pinky shade. Ooh, that actually has a lot of nice pigment. Doesn't smell weird. Oh. Okay, I don't know if you guys can see, it's grabbing pretty hardcore and I'm using one of my favorite blush brushes too, so that's kind of strange. I'm gonna go over it with the powder brush and just kinda Try to tone that down a little bit. Not even gonna pick up any other color. We're just gonna go over here. Well, I guess I have to, to kind of even it out. Okay, this literally is like one, uh, got something in my eye, one dip. We're gonna play with the bronzer, also $3.99. One side looks pretty matte. And the other side has a little bit of a shimmer to it. Mm, looks The matte one looks a little bit patchy. The shimmer looks okay. I'm gonna take a Kat Von D brush. This is the number 20 brush. I like using this for bronzer quite a bit. So I'm just, I'm gonna get the excess off real good because I don't want it to grab at any areas. And we're just going to bronze up the face. So that blended better than the blushes. And I'm actually gonna keep this out in case I wanna try one of those shades in the crease of my eye. Um, the blush just did not blend and it's something that I can't stop seeing in the mirror. I'm like, ooh, wow, you know? Um, I do have to say for drugstore bronzers, again, Rimmel has a great one. Uh, and then Physicians Formula, the BB Butter Bronzer. You guys, I use that thing all the time. Even over my very high priced bronzers, I reach for that one so often, it's crazy. All right, so let's go into the highlights. They look like they're not gonna have that much shine. Oh, maybe they will. Really powdery. Let's try. We're gonna take a fan brush and I'm gonna go in first with the yellow toned side. That's not bad. All right, the highlighter is dusty and really like gets very, very messy and powdery. It's messy. I didn't realize that you have like a mirror back here and a little brush, that's kind of nice. We definitely need some eyebrows. I am feeling like I need some eyebrows, so let's dig into these little brow kits. Okay, so powder, wax, and a little mini brush. We're, you don't get a spoolie though, which is a little frustrating. I'm gonna go in first with the waxy side, and I'm using the light kit. Looking at the dark one, it just looks like it's gonna be way, way too intense for me. Seriously, God. Uh, why did I do that? Okay, so I always do this thing where I will take like my pinky and I will kind of blend out the edge, like the upper portion of my eyebrow, but I forgot that I had makeup on that finger, clearly. The brow kit is surprisingly not bad. I actually really like how this went on. Next up is going to be some eyeshadow. So let's take a look at what we got going on. We have these pans of color. It's actually swatching out pretty good. I feel like I like the browns in here a lot. Ooh, that's actually really pretty. I'm gonna start out with a fluffy brush and I'm gonna go up into the top portion of the tones eyeshadow with thingamadoo. And I'm just going to start in the crease. Yeah, that actually has really nice pigment. I'm gonna go into the darker browns with a MAC 224 and just focus a little bit lower and more on the outer edge. The colors in this pan right here are so flattering. It looks like it might be like meh, but once you get it on the eyes, it just has such a rich color to it. I love this. I love this. All right, I'm gonna go in that bottom shade beneath the dark brown. It's kind of like a nice gold. I'm gonna put this all over the lid. And then I'm gonna grab the highlighter and I'm gonna take a little bit on a smaller brush. I'm gonna go into the yellow shade. And I just wanna pop this kind of on the inner portion right here just to brighten things up. Just take a little right underneath the arch of my brow. 
And that's pretty fast makeup. I think just because I'm super curious, I wanna see how the purple would look kind of smoked on the lower lash line. This might be a big, huge mistake, but I'm just, I'm curious because I like this brown one so much. And then just to make everything kind of go together, I'm gonna go back into this shade right here and just kind of smoke right on the edge of that purple. Really incredibly easy to blend. I'm shocked. Okay, moving on, we are gonna test out the felt tip liner. I am gonna be posting very, very soon my hit list of all the best drugstore eyeliners that are black, from felt tip to sharpen to automatic to gel pots. I literally went through my whole drawer and I swatched and tried and did arm swatches and wear tests on my arms, my hands. I just wanted to see what was the longest wearing, what didn't fade and all of that. And so I narrowed down like my absolute must have favorites from the drugstore. We're gonna see how this uh, matches up to that. All right, let's see what the deal is with this liner. The liner went on pretty well. It was a little bit tough to work with because it dries so fast, but on the plus side, it dries down really rich in color and very, very matte, which I personally love. Not my new fave by any means, but if you're in a pinch and you want a good liner that will get the job done, then this is great. Let's move on though to the mascara. I'm not so into a winged liner anymore. I don't know when that changed, but like I'm looking at it and I'm like, I don't know if wing liner is like for me anymore. I'm sure I'll still do it, but I've been wearing my eyes without a wing more than I do with one. What do you guys think? Tell me in the comments. Okay, I don't like this. The brush is super like way flimsy. I don't like that. I don't think this happens very often, but it has happened to me before. I remember one time I was working and I wanna do the other eye with this one so you guys can see the difference. I remember one time I was going to work and for whatever reason, it was like really early in the morning, I was opening up a store and I didn't put on mascara. And for me, I feel like I do not look normal without mascara and the rest of my face makeup on. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm like, oh my gosh, I need my mascara. And it's an insecurity. Like I just felt like something was missing and there were no stores open. And back then, had I been able to run into 7-Eleven for a couple bucks and grab mascara, I would have, you know? So I like that they have makeup. I think it's really cool. I'm hoping you guys can see the difference in the mascara. So this went on a lot faster. I was able to build it up really, really quickly. Let's try out the lashes. I don't know why, but let's just see what happens. I'm gonna do the full faux lashes. It does come with glue, but I have a latex allergy, so I'm not even gonna mess around with that because then I wouldn't be able to film videos the rest of the week if something goes wrong. All right, the lashes are on. They're not horrible. I mean, they're pretty good actually. I think they're very similar to Ardell lashes. They don't have that like big fluttery thick feel that a lot of your more expensive lashes will have that are reusable. I don't know that you'll have an easy time reusing these just because the band also is very, very flimsy. And I was already having an issue with some of the lashes popping out. But if you just need like a quick one night only type of a lash band, then I don't think these are bad. All right, let's play around with some of the lip products really quick. I wanna try on one of the lipsticks. Let's do that. Oh, oh, this is metallic. Wow, that's like 80s right here. Ooh. Actually, that's kind of nice, right? I take it back, I eat my words. This is probably the most juicy, comfortable metallic I've ever put on my lips. So if you like this kind of a finish, I actually don't think that's that bad. This is just not my normal color that I would go to. Let's try out Clementine. That's really nice. You guys, this is not bad. They feel really good on the lips. That's no lip liner, no nothing, just really quickly popping it on and I think they feel really good. I wanna try wine. Ooh, you guys, that is so pretty. Oh my God, I kinda did not put it on the greatest. I feel like I have the kind of mouth that I really do need a lip liner, so that's a little bit frustrating, but the texture of this one is a little bit thicker than the other two, and the color, I feel like this is a dupe for a MAC lipstick. I'm gonna have to kind of rifle through, but that shade, oh my God, you guys, look. Yes, that is good. 
So the gloss colors don't really correspond with the three lipsticks. I was kind of thinking that maybe this one like matched and it doesn't. Uh, it's very kind of like a bright pigmented purple, like hot pink purple, and then we have the hot pink. And then here's that nude gloss that you kind of really can't see anything, it's more just see-through. So I'm actually going to take the more see-through one because I don't want to shift the color at all. I just want to keep this color, but I want to see what it looks like with a gloss layered on top. Ah, oh, this smells so good. That scent is like so yummy. Some of this stuff is actually really working for me and I get so excited when I find affordable things that work just as well as some of the other things I have in my collection. I just wanna find makeup that works, period. I don't care if it comes from 7-Eleven or Neiman Marcus. It just has to work and work well, you know? So I'm gonna pull the camera back out and we will kind of regroup with all of this makeup. All right, guys, we are gonna rapid fire through this makeup. Is this my favorite look ever? No, absolutely not. I won't be using this BB cream again. It's just not for me. It doesn't give me enough. Um, I don't think it's totally awful, so keep that in mind. If you like a light, hydrating type of a coverage with a little SPF, you might be into it for five bucks. It's not terrible. The concealer, I don't like at all. I think the colors were weird. I think that the streakiness and the lack of pigmentation was kind of strange, like it just blended out almost into nothing. So that was not for me. The setting powder did not like either. I just know that there are so many better options, so that was just immediately like, shh. Same thing with the little wannabe beauty blender. It was just literally so firm, so firm. Like how can you actually blend and grab and do what you need to do with a sponge with a sponge that is that firm? Oh. <laughs> it smells just like a ball. Well, at least you have a new toy. Da, da, da. The world's worst beauty blender dupe ever made. So all of those things are like, wah, all the brushes, horrible, no, go to e.l.f. Just save your time, just go to e.l.f. If you're looking for very affordable brushes in the like under $5 range, they have some good ones. I do wanna say the bronzer was not terrible, not my favorite, the blush was horrible. The highlighter I will keep using because I actually think this shade is really nice. I like the way it sits on my skin. I think that one was really a nice find for me. The eyeshadow I love. Now I think that I could do a better job mixing it with some other things that I already know that I love to use, kind of companion it together and really do more of a dramatic look because it was missing some high shine and just other things that I like to incorporate in a look that I would normally do, if that makes any sense. Um, the liner, mm, I'm not loving it. I'm just not. It was a bit of a struggle to really layer it on, get it even, and it's just not my fave. The mascara, no. The lashes are okay for a one-time use, um, but they're very, very flimsy. The brow product, I will use again. I actually really, really liked it, but I wanna see how I can use a pencil, a really precise brush, and just sculpt out a brow using like those two products together. I think that could be really, really good. So that was surprisingly not bad. I love it. Um, and then the lip products I really, really love as well. I think they are so good. I did not have a chance to try these on right here. We're gonna swatch them really quickly. That's actually not bad. That's kind of a strange color. Oh my God, it actually smells just like a Crayola crayon. That's very, very weird. So let's look at the swatches. The one I just put on my hand is blush. Then we have Scarlet and Sangria. I think all in all the lip products are really, really good. I actually really, really love them, but I feel like with the rest of the makeup that I have on right now, it's looking a little bit off. I didn't contour, I didn't do all the tricks I normally do with my concealer and brightening up the face and all of that. So I am looking in the monitor and I'm like, ooh, like something is a little bit off. But I hope that helps break it down if you're looking at this full display and you're like, what's good, what's bad? You know, we have kind of some winners and some losers in my opinion, and that is that. But it was really fun to try this stuff out. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'm not gonna do a wear test because something is itching on my skin. I think it's the foundation, but I'm not sure. But I kind of just want to wash this off and let my skin kind of have a break. So if you have very, very sensitive skin, also keep that in mind because something is itching me. Um, but my eyes, my lips, no problems whatsoever. So there we have it. I hope you guys liked this. If you did, give it a thumbs up. If there are any other places that are popping up with cosmetics that you're like, oh my gosh, we need to know about this. This is a new launch. Um, please be sure to let me know. Tweet me. 
leave comments here, Snapchat me. I love hearing from you guys so, so much. And that's about that. All right, I love you. I hope you're having a good one and I will see you in my next video. Thanks so much for watching. Mwah.